I'm Zach. And I'm Quasi James. I got lots of hobbies. And I don't have any at all. So we're exploring the wide world of hobbies. And we're starting with going to mermaid school. We are the, the hobby homies. Ho we, hobby, we hobby didn't come homies? up with a name. Yes. Oh, you did it! I kind of panicked a little I bit. Yeah. It. I just saw the panic. <laughs> What about two guys, one pool? What I do is I help people from all around the world actually transform into their version of an underwater creature, whether it be a mermaid or a merman or a non-binary merperson. A lot of people are just hobbyists, where they saw a movie or they read a book and they've decided that they actually want to make that childhood dream come true and see what it's all about. As a mermaid trainer, I actually help you to pick out costumes, learn the basics how to swim, maybe do some awesome like camera ready tricks, and at the end of it, be able to show your tricks in front of the camera for some good photos. What I think a merman is, hmm, it's someone who looks cute on the water without even trying. You know, as far as hobbies go, I'm not sure that this would be mine, but maybe I'm gonna learn something about myself today. We are going to be training in the water. We're gonna be transforming into mer people. And at the end of the day, we are doing an underwater photo shoot. We worked with Virginia when we learned archery and she was like, hey, you wanna become mer people? And we were like, yeah. I go by Catalina Mermaid. I'm from LA Mermaid School, and my fantastic job is to take you two under the sea and into the world of mermaids, merman, and professional mer people for the day. Also, I make sure you don't die. I'm sorry, mermaid school? This, Absolutely. This is news to me. I, I was part of all this pre-pro. I didn't know there was a mermaid school. Dolphinately, as we like to say. Oh, oh, it keeps going. There's gonna be a whale of a lot of fish puns today, okay. just so you know. I, I will leave here. <laughs> a whale of puns? You'll either want to bash your head into the wall or you're gonna love it by the end of the day, <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> Listen, there's only a few things I fear. One is reading out loud. Number two, the IRS. And three is swimming. I kind of panicked a little I bit. Know, I just saw the panic. So this is going to be the moment of your merman and mermaid dreams. This is going to be where you actually to try a tail for tail time. What we have over here are a couple different weights. So we have our silicone bad boys, which are up to about 25, 26 pounds. You're saying that the, the rubbery one is, is harder? Yeah. I, I feel like I got to try the silicone. These was, fabric ones. She said ones. 20, but I didn't believe her. Feel this. They're yeah, really heavy. It's like a baby. It's a big ass insane. baby. Like, we're talking about a monofin, which is what actually gives you the thrust of the fin. This is uh, your safety, your stability, et cetera, in the water. We have slide-in foot pockets. With the silicone, same thing, except we have to use a whole lot more loop. I hope you're ready for this experience. <laughs> What are the socks for? Uh, so sometimes you can get blisters in the tail. These actually help protect your feet. Oh, let's do that then. Good idea. Yeah. So we're just going right into the pool with 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 tails. It sounds like that's what we're doing. I, I don't know. I guess I just assumed that we would do some like non-tail training first. But we I guess why I, that was the first 30 years of my life. And now we're here. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh, look at me. Oh, that's a good color. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm so happy. <laughs> How's it feel? It feels great. <laughs> it's a dream come true, Zach. So what do you think that niece of yours is going to think? Yo, man, she's going to be so jealous. <laughs> right? <laughs> we outside, baby. <laughs> it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> now, this one's different. All right, let me get that loop for you. <laughs> I already forgot about this. I don't think I've been lubed before. Well, Zach, the first time for everything, baby. You can use all of it if you want. Could we get demonetized for this? We went to film school. <laughs> <laughs> And you're gonna point your toes just like a ballet dancer and all the way down. I know, right? Is it tight? <laughs> no, it's slippery. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Can we, we have water? Let me fan you off. That's an awesome idea. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. 
beautiful. This water is great. Oh. For me, the attraction of being a mermaid is actually the challenge of it. You're going to actually be managing your own demeanor, your own psychology, your own swim skills, your athleticism, your creativity with your performance underwater and your costume all at once. Take off the wall, okay. nice and straight body. Nice and straight body. And then again, hips start the roll. <laughs> hips. In this kind of, yeah. These hips don't lie. If you think about starting at your lower tummy and really using the hips, that's how you get that roll that goes all the way down to the toes. Body roll. We know how to body roll. Cool. You know how to body roll? Cool. Cool. Hey, hey. Yeah. I've been body like roll since 87, girl. <laughs> Talk about it. Swimming was never really a thing for us growing up in Brooklyn, New York. We had public pools, but at least for me, I never had swimming class. I'm not the strongest swimmer in the world, but my niece taught me how to swim. Not really, she taught me how to survive in the water. So today I'm gonna look cute while trying to survive. Probably like the, the, the end of 2022 couple of months ago, yeah, yeah. Give it a few months ago, yeah, but I, I started practicing a lot. <laughs> Not bad. Look at you, I think my hips were lying a little bit. I can't keep my eyes open underwater. I heard that you don't like opening your eyes underwater, do you? It's not that I don't like it, I just don't, can't. I can't. When I was a kid, I used to keep my eyes open underwater all the time. Then, at the local pool, my little snot-nosed shit was like, do you know that opening your eyes underwater is bad for you? And I was like, what? And I have had a mental block ever since. So I'm gonna work with you also on hopefully how to open your eyes under the water so your photo doesn't look like that. That was a body roll. How'd I do? When you are moving, you are doing really shallow. Yeah. Think about those hips are powering down all the way through your feet. All Big movements. A little bit bigger, I think you'll find some more success. You want to go together? I would love that. Go yeah. for it, guys. All right, here we go. Ready? I'm tired. Yeah. I thought we were just like, flip splash in the water. This is the most physically strenuous thing that I've done in months. <laughs> oh, shit, I went fast. Yeah, you did. Oh, my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we be mermaiding. Mermaid. <laughs> yeah. Why did you want to be a mermaid? It was a total fluke. So <laughs> you fell into mermaiding. <laughs> you did. swam into it. I absolutely did. I've trained people around the world and have actually coached like different places like Paris Fashion Week, Germany's Next Top Model, etc. And I have a lot of fun and a lot of fun with it. A lot of fun. Wow. You're gonna take a big breath of air. You're gonna go under the water with your paddle hands. You can bend your knees, and then you're gonna let air out. Got it. How long can you hold your breath? It depends on how much I've been training, actually. It's just like a marathon. You know, the more you train, the better your cardio. If you've been working on it all summer, that number goes up. Um, my base, though, for like, if I've not been training or anything, is about three minutes. That's your base? Wow! <laughs> Later, nerds. <laughs> Bye. So if you think about a balloon that's full of helium, it rises up, right? Yes. <laughs> if we let air out of the balloon, it falls to Earth. Uh -huh. Our lungs work the same way in the water. No, about dying. In the water. <laughs> Fair. <Yeah. laughs> what are the things to say, hey, Quasi specifically, I'm in danger. My job is to work with you on safety and watch your reactions. And I'll be right there with a rescue tube, like a lifeguard, ready to pull you up. Do what you can. I'm going for butt on the ground. Let's do it. The, the biggest fear I have about swimming, especially in pools, is that I can't touch the floor. And that's freaking scary. I just learned how to kind of be comfortable with that, be one with the water. Nice, he did it! Yeah, yeah, like a boss. You got it. There it is. And by the way, job. can I tell you, when you come out of the water, you look good. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. <laughs> I got the church desk for this way. Tell us the history of mermaids. So the nice thing too is like mermaiding as well as all this water stuff is completely global. They have some uh, crocodile slash human conversions from some of the indigenous tribes. If we're looking at North America, there's actually some snake lore of snake women out of the Great Lakes that would transform that way. We go over to Great Britain, there's gonna be your selkies which can take off the seal skin and become a human. So for your Masona, you can be a happy, helpful mermaid that helps to get people safely home or you can be a siren. And that's gonna be who actually probably tries to drown you. I'm gonna be a mermaid, Quasi's gonna be my merman. I only see one trident, and I'm just gonna say this better be a freaking matriarchy. If I don't get the trident, I'm gonna be hella pressed. We're mer people now. <laughs> We are doing an underwater photo shoot. You're swimming, and you don't have legs, you have a tail, and there are weights bringing you down, and you have to then remember to move slow, 
but also majestically, and pose. You're gonna be dropping down into a position. There's a fantastic bubble screen back there. Bubble it's, screen? It's bubble <laughs> screen. What's a bubble screen? Uh, it adds some incredible distortion to the background. There's also some thick kelp down there, so you can also play with that if you want to. I haven't tried opening my eyes yet. <laughs> I don't really know what's gonna happen there. I don't know how the f***ing... Maybe the first one to do eyes pose. Nope. What do you mean? You've been doing that all day. You got it. So how the f*** am I gonna keep my eyes open? Eagle for a I just opened them? That's a, the, the whole video's been building up to don't worry, he's actually gonna learn how to keep his eyes open and now the advice is just open. Just, open. <laughs> just <laughs> do it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna open my eyes underwater. No problemo. I'm a beautiful mermaid! First thing you have to do is open your eyes and you see this blurry wonderland. There's a kelp forest and bubbles. It's so much to think about. That was crazy, yo. It's like, did you guys know that you could do that? That the world's blurry? Yeah. What? That was crazy. I didn't pay attention at all to the modeling. I was just so excited to tell you all. Showtime! Three, two, one. I, 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 I like I'm, I don't know my motivation. I like son. I started playing with the kale a little bit. Kale. Vege oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the kale. Vegetation. <laughs> the wig. <laughs> Look at the wig in place. I feel fantastic. Oh my gosh. I'm ready to go again. Are you ready? I'm, I'm gonna try to get a little bit lower this side, and then I'm gonna look sexy. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. Shall we? Wow, for sure. <laughs> that hair is difficult, you. huh? Modeling underwater, challenging enough. Modeling underwater with the tail, little harder. Now we're adding hair to the mix. <laughs> I didn't want to like even bother staying down there because. Yeah, your hair was fully in your face. Bring it to shoulder. And then you just grab with one hand. As you drop, pull with the other hand to get you down. Three, two, three. That was the first time where like I had a little bit of a freak out. Uh, Cause yep. like I had hair in front of my face and then I just like, I was like, oh, I don't have any breath. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, but you but did the fun. right thing. Like I saw you problem solving and when you were done, you're like, up. Oh. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do. All right. Is it cool if I play with the camera? Yeah, please. Oh, perfect. It's gonna be me and you. And this tail. The swimming part was the hardest part of the day, but I, and I just felt confident. I, I I wasn't really afraid in the water. I was more about how much looks can I give you? How many options? I went for a flip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some way somehow I'm gonna look fierce as Moment to moment, I'm changing who I am. I'm finding my character. Am I coy? Oh my goodness, I didn't see you there. Am I fierce? You're in my kingdom and I'm gonna fight you off. Come on, Zach, be sexy. Sexy! Sexy! Yes! I could see why this could be a hobby. I mean, taking photos underwater, being a mermaid, I mean, come on. Coming in, I didn't understand why you would do this. And then you get that perfect photo and it's just exhilarating. You're, you're turning yourself into a, a mythical being. <sighs> I went into this feeling like I may die in this pool today. I kissed my wife before I left, after I made my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I came and I was like, listen, I'm just gonna give this my all. And that's what I did. I may look ridiculous right now, but inside, I feel sexy. Zach, do I look sexy? You look real sexy. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Yeah. When you nail a perfect shot, there is something so exhilarating and, and freeing, and you feel magical. Like, I'm not down there to have a good time. I'm down there to serve mermaid realness. I'm a majestic creature. The swimming part was the hardest part. I wasn't as confident in my swimming skills, but I listened and I, I gave in my all, and the photos will speak for itself. Oh my goodness, I would love to give my niece this as a birthday present. This is, this is actually, oh wow, thank you, Rachel. That's pretty good. Is that okay? Yeah, we'd love to hear. Uh, yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah, and do I have to buy her baby fins or anything like that? We have kid rentals, actually. It's lit, it's going on. Dylan, 
Uncle Quasi is gonna get you mermaid photo shoot for the rest of your life. And Lennon, as soon as you stop touching all the stuff under the sink, Uncle Quasi's gonna give you swimming lessons in, as a mermaid in the pool too. Word. The hobby homies, here we go. Two guys, one pool. Let's go. I don't know if this is gonna be my hobby, but it's a good workout. <laughs> Another hobby added to the list. Mer person lessons. I'm coming back for sure. Absolutely. This is no BS, no cap on my hat. And yeah, this is just fantastic. Like it's like medieval times underwater. You were so deep under there. That was good. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, we're mermaid. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Where's he going? He's going for another photo. Crazy, come back. He can't be stopped. He's not even a photographer under there. He just loves it. <laughs> Oh, get me out of this thing. <laughs> oh. Next time I'm doing the light tail. 